Giant statues of Hugo Chavez toppling to the ground across Venezuela. Anti-government protesters using sledgehammers to destroy them and gasoline to set them ablaze. The people here were Chavistas, and now they are no longer. It comes as public anger grows over Sunday's presidential election results. Chavez's successor, President Nicolas Maduro, was declared the winner, giving him a third six-year term in office. But Maduro's rival, opposition candidate Edmundo Gonzalez, says he has voting data showing he had twice as many votes and is the real winner. To the National Electoral Council, that still are looking for tally sheets. Here they are. Come look for all of us here. On Tuesday, thousands took to the streets of Caracas in solidarity. While mostly peaceful, earlier demonstrations led to violent clashes and the arrest of more than 700 people. Here at home, the White House is holding off on recognizing the election results. Instead, the administration is calling for full transparency. We continue to call on Venezuela's electoral authorities to release full, transparent and detailed voting results, including by polling uh, stations as well. Several Republican lawmakers also calling for renewed economic sanctions. I'm hoping we'll take lessons learned from the fact that this probably was a tainted election and hold him accountable. As for Maduro, he has vowed to stay in power and his allies are now calling for leaders in the opposition to be jailed. In Washington, Kevin Cork, Fox News.